Here are five specialty cafes and espresso bars that you can visit in the historical center of Prague. You can have a tasty coffee and see this beauty like Old Town Square. So let us take you on a coffee tour. Let's go. This video is sponsored by KitKat Traveler. It wasn't an easy task to pick from over 140 specialty cafes we list in our Prague Coffee Guides. We asked our community on Instagram, we asked our local friends and baristas. I was frustrated a bit, but I must say the final list is very strong. Okay, our coffee is ready. It's mostly small espresso bars with one big surprise at the end. So we are glad to see our sticker in the wild here on the cafe that we recommend. Still, the best advice I can give you for any coffee tour in Europe is to download our free mobile app, which will always include an updated list of great cafes, not only in Prague. Number one, Herneček. Herneček is a small espresso bar in Petrská street that opened about a year ago in 2022. Yet, it's considered by many the most coffee-dedicated spot in Prague city center. A head barista Honza is very specific about the coffee he serves. So I think I would start actually with a cappuccino. All right. And then I would take a hand brew. He picks mostly Nordic roasters like La Cabra, April or Swirl, and he picks their filter roast to serve even as an espresso on the white Victoria Arino Prima espresso machine. We started with cappuccino with naturally processed Brazilian coffee. Then we asked for a hand brew of Kenyan beans roasted by La Cabra. Honza uses a customized version of Kalita Wave with extended holes for faster flow, which allows for a finer grind. It's a place to get geeky about the coffee, water, brewing and many more. Okay, so we are here at Cafe Hernecek and we are having a first coffee of the day. Cappuccino using Brazilian coffee and also filter is a Kenyan La Cabra. And the bun. Okay, so that was Cafe Herneček and we still have some filter to go. We continue. And right now we are close to our next stop, which is One Sip Coffee. Let's go. One Sip Coffee is the OG espresso bar that brought specialty coffee to Prague city center back in 2016. It belongs to the Candy Cane Coffee family that both founders Deněk and Adam join. When I think about One Sip Coffee, I think about good coffee, friendly and positive vibe, playful food in interior by the local Art Bureau studio and the beautiful Keys van der Westen espresso machine on the bar. And one more thing, coffee cups from Danish Ahroy studio. Okay, so we have next coffee. I got cappuccino from Ugandan coffee roasted by Candy Cane. And this is the most popular pastry they have here, Danish. Okay, so that was one sip coffee and we continue our tour. We are moving to the next cafe and this is the great opportunity to actually clean our cup and get ready for next coffee. Done, we can go. So far we are walking side streets of Prague's historical center, but now we are heading right into the middle, Old Town Square with crowds of tourists to find some good coffee around. Just next to it, in Jelesna Street, we found the location of the miners. It's a local specialty coffee chain and roastery that has eight locations in Prague and two cafes in Barcelona. Big ambitions to grow, so we were curious to see how they handle such a busy location. The Miners Old Town is primary espresso bar for takeaway service, but we chose a hand brew from their single origin offer to taste. So interesting fact, our coffee, our hand brew coffee will taste like, or supposed to taste like bananas. Colombian beans from El Vergel Farm in Tolima region, brewed using Clever Dripper. Barista was friendly, talking us through the coffee preparation with a smile. Most of the rush was left on the street, so we could enjoy a coffee time in more relaxed way, before heading to our next stop. Okay, so that was the miners in the old town, and we continue. Then we walked through another touristic point, which is Child's Bridge, with beautiful views of the Prague Castle and Viltava River, but also crowds of tourists passing by. Not an ideal spending of a nice afternoon for me. Luckily, just across the bridge, two turns and you enter Grounds L4. It's so calm here. Such a contrast after such a busy Charles Bridge. It's so calm. Let's have coffee. It's a small espresso bar that belongs to the Rusty Nails Coffee Roasters family here in Prague. It opened last summer in 2022 after only about two weeks of a rebuild. We had a chat with Barista Dominic, a current Czech cup tasting champion, tasted a double espresso and enjoyed a calm terrace in an inner yard. 
There are not that many specialty coffee options in the area, so this spot can save you on a way to Lennon World or Campa and many more options here. So our espresso was that delicious that we finished it before leaving the cafe. So now it's time for refill. I will ask for filter coffee and then we can go to the next cafe. We clean our cup, grab a sample of veg brew coffee, Colombia El Limon and walk to our last stop. So we have everything, we can continue and find the last cafe on the tour. As we move to our next cafe, it's time to tell you about the sponsor of this video, which is Keep Cup. And it's cups that I'm using today, which are Keep Cups Traveler, a small version, which is very fitting for most of the specialty drinks we'll be drinking today. What's really cool about this cup, it's that it's made from double walled insulated stainless steel, which is 90% recycled. And what I really love about this cup is that it has a lid, which is very well sealed. So it's leak proof. You can turn it upside down and you can also put it to your back and it's safe. You don't need to worry about it. Also, it's barista standard. So it's very easy to pour latte art and put all the drink inside. And as you see, there is no coffee inside of my cup. So it's time to move to another cafe. Let's go. Okay, so right now we are next to our next cafe, which is Pauseteria, and it's over there. Let's go. Pauseteria. Unlike all previous visits, Pauseteria back on the old town square is huge. It has been operating for many years, but this summer it took over a former restaurant next door, so it's much bigger with a massive bar and spacious terrace. We could taste an espresso blend from 50 Beans, brewed on 3 group Victoria Arduino espresso machine, and filter coffee from the Naughty Dog, brewed on Tone Touch. A head barista, Vlastimil, gave us a tour around the space and since we missed the brunch time, he insisted we had to try some of their homemade desserts. Okay, so we came just for coffee, but these amazing desserts look so good, so we have to try it. <laughs> this is called Taj Mahal and here it's exotic. Wow, it was delicious indeed, with our last coffee to go. Can't wait to be back and enjoy some brunch and relax on a terrace right in the middle of Prague. Okay, so we successfully find five specialty cafes in the historical center of Prague. Let us know what we miss and don't forget to download our mobile app. Bye-bye, cheers.